Hey everybody, I am back to making videos again. I was enjoying summer, now it's starting to get cold again and I'm bored. So I am back on the grind of making YouTube videos. I wanted to showcase what my home server rack looks like. And the reason I do this is because this is not a proper rack. However, it gets the job done. This is like one of those portable clothes things that you can buy on Target or, or like Bed Bath & Beyond or whatever. And I was gonna throw it out because I no longer needed it, but I said, hey, why don't I just use this as a rack? Now there's three machines that make up my server rack. The Raspberry Pi 5, which uh, this is a NAS case, is inside of an ammo box. You guys already saw the build video. I'm gonna showcase what it is. Basically this little fan right here blows air and inside of here there is a Raspberry Pi 5 this Raspberry Pi 5 has its own cooling fan as you can see I don't know if you can see it it has a 2 terabyte NVMe SSD and it has a 4 terabyte NAS quality hard drive attached to it via a USB adapter now this looks very crude but it's actually working great I've been using this primarily as my server. I used to have a laptop that I was running Nextcloud and a bunch of other home services, and I decided, hey, why don't I just move everything to the Raspberry Pi 5 since I'm running everything on Docker? And it has worked amazing. Everything inside of the ammo box just connects. Basically, you have an extension core, and then this is the power supply for the Raspberry Pi 5, and this is the power supply for the 3.5 hard drive adapter. And it's very portable. All I need to do is unplug it and take it wherever I need if I need to move it. And because it's in a hard case, it's a little bit harder for water and dust to get through. Now, I didn't do a good job. I drilled some holes up here, which I regret, but I can feel some airflow. This little fan, even though it's not that big, it does enough to keep the hard drive cool, which I'm happy. Now, the original the original inspiration for this was this. This is a Raspberry Pi 4 NAS project that I did about a year and a half ago, and it's been working amazing. Now this ammo box project is different. The Raspberry Pi 4 doesn't have a PCIe connection, so it's only got one hard drive, and then it's booting off an SS of a micro SD card. Now the hard drive on this lives at the lit level because I wanted it to be flat. Probably not a good idea to move hard drives while they're still spinning. It's basically held in place by a bunch of zip ties. And as you can tell, there is the Raspberry Pi 4 with a bunch of heat sinks. This is the ethernet connection. And same thing that you saw on the other box, basically an extension core that connects the Pi 4 power supply and the adapter for the hard drive. All right, now that I sacrificed my hard drives to show it to you guys, I wanna show you my quote unquote most powerful server. This is an office, small form factor office PC. It's, I got it for about $80 last year and it came with 16 gigabytes of RAM, DDR4, and an Intel 8500 i5 CPU, which has six x86 cores. Now this is really powerful for, for a home server. It's actually powerful for a general server. And I made it even more powerful by adding a graphics card. Now, this little form factor PC has had a slot for a PC, like a full PCI connection. However, the actual graphics card did not fit in here. So what I ended up doing was cutting this side of the case, getting a PCI or graphics card extension, and then putting it on top. And obviously, because this is a small form factor PC, the power supply can't really handle like higher power graphics cards. So this is a 1050 that I've been using for my Jellyfin and even gaming sessions. Now, obviously when I'm gaming, I can't use it on the Jellyfin virtual machine um, and vice versa. So hopefully I can showcase how it performs because 
The reality is you probably don't need the latest and greatest graphics cards. You're more than welcome to play, especially if you if you're doing like game streaming with a basic graphics card. I'm not really too much into the whole graphics thing. I just want a game to be fun. Now this entire setup is connected to a UPS that I recently got because there was a bunch of problems whenever the light flickered or it went out for like a second or two. Um, this particular server is really hard to reboot. I had to like open it up and remove all of the RAM sticks so that it would actually like reformat again. So I don't want to deal with that because that was time consuming. So I just got a UPS. So if the light goes out for a couple of minutes, it's going to be fine. Now this entire setup uses about 68 watts in total. And that's not really that bad. Now. I assume that about 50 of those watts are coming from this one server because it has got a, a graphics card and it has like an actual x86 CPU. These two things right here, I would guess like between them, they're probably consuming around 12 watts to 15 watts in total. So these are very energy efficient. And if you didn't have this, I'm sure they could be power of the UPS for months to come or <laughs> for minutes. Sorry, I said months for minutes, probably around 60 minutes or or more. Now with all of this connected, if the power goes out, I got about 15 minutes before that runs out. So yeah, this is my home setup. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully I can start making a lot more content now that, you know, the nice weather has passed us.